have you seen your snails in these states before and you feel like they are dead no your snails are not dead <laughs> they have just hibernated yes if this sounds like something you're interested in keep watching hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Oyebinkwe. if you are new here welcome to the family please do not forget to like subscribe and drop a comment and to my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love you. I love you guys. Thank you for always coming back. Thank you for always dropping a comment. Thank you for liking and all of that. I'm deeply grateful. So I feel it is not too late to wish everyone a happy new year. Yeah. Welcome to 2023. It's going to be a year of ease and divine help and supernatural answers for us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the dry season is actually really upon us, and as farmers, we know now <laughs> this is not a good time for snow farmers at all if we are not careful. And I know that some of us have probably been seeing our snails look like this or like this. <laughs> yes, I know you've seen it. So, for new farmers, you are going to be like, What is happening? Are my snails dying or something? Yeah, there's a whitish thing that covers the uh, the snails. Like they are using that white thing to, 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 to seal in moisture. And that white thing is called the epiphram. Yes. So let me give you a small gist. My farm assistant and I, we decided that we were going to go on a short break for the holidays. And now at least we've been working the whole year. We need to rest. Five days ago, guys, and we came back. I hope you saw the video I, I played in the, in, in, in the intro, yes. That was what we met on the farm. Almost all the snails on the farm has hibernated. And we we're like, huh? Just five days, yes. So it can happen even in the space of two days, three days, four days, five days. And if you are not careful, you'll be at a loss because as a snail farmer, you don't even want your snails to hibernate. So hibernation is like um, is what happens to snails when they are in a very harsh environment, and we know that this season is um, <laughs> even for a human being. If you don't have the, uh, the 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 moist you need, if you don't have the care you need, then you're probably going to look somehow. So for snails too, they also feel somehow during this season, especially when the the uh, environment is harsh when the uh, weather is not conducive for them so let me just let me just move on i'll be looking through my notes so i don't forget anything so if you have noticed that your snails are actually doing this even before hamatan because i understand that some people they are a little bit lazy and sometimes even before hamatan their snails go into hibernation so you need to wash this so like i said while on the farm we saw all of these things just in five days and let me tell you that snails can be like that for three years or more so as a snail farmer if your snail goes into hibernation for three years or more that's a problem for you because they're not going to be feeding well they are not going to be mating and they are not going to be reproducing and they are not going to be growing so what's your what's your um what's your profits what's your profit and like i said earlier this epiphram is a way of uh, snails stealing in moist for themselves so they want to be comfortable by themselves so they find a way of creating comfort for themselves so if your snails are like this for like three years that's a problem for you because that means you're not going to be making seals because the snails are not growing and you're not going to be uh the snails are not going to be reproducing so it's a lot of problem like so just don't allow them hibernate and uh, some people also call it estivation it's actually the same thing it's a, a process where they seal up moist in themselves and do not even do anything they don't do anything they just seal up the moist and they are there so one of the things you need to consider is that i'm actually going to be speaking as a free range farmer because i i run a free range farm and a little bit of intensive however i'm a free range farmer so let me just talk from the experience of a free range farmer. number one 
when you see the white substance you already know that the weather is not conducive so as a free range farmer what i do is that we pay attention to the corners of the farm yes <laughs> you know that on your farm i don't know how people do their home free range but my farm i did a partition of like four coaches yeah and they are corners and even in the coaches i have some blocks so some of them will enter into the blocks and hibernate there while some would hibernate at the corners of the farm so you check the corners of the farm to be sure that no snail has hibernated so that you're not done at a loss aside from that too you also want to wet very well as human this season if you don't drink water very well you are going to be hyper uh, you are going to be dehydrated so snails too before now we know snails like water so now that the season is upon us and we need to give them water i'm not saying drown them in water but then you have to wet them very well like i understand that people that do a uh, greenhouse they use sprinkler for me i would say this is not the season for you to use sprinkler because the sprinkler will just wet the surface of the plants in your farm this is the season you should manually water the farm so you use your hose for us we use hose like you hose you hold your hose and wet every corner of the farm very well so you are not just watering uh, the, the the plants now you are also watering the snails so when the when the when when when, when water touches the plant it doesn't just stay on the surface it goes into the soil so yes let us not also forget the soil because the soil is going to be really hot and you don't want that for your farm so you use hose at this point and you wet generously don't wet stingily <laughs> so you wet generously another tip is that if you have been wetting for twice a day now is the time to wet three times a day because especially in abuja if you are a snail farmer and you are in abuja you know what i'm talking about because the, the weather is not even friendly at all so if you are a snail farmer and you are in abuja or you are in the northern part of the country you really want to wet three times a day so you wet early in the morning you wet in the evening and you wet at night so three times a day and you wet generously not sparingly like you wet generously then another one is to those another tip is for those that are into intensive system like i said earlier i have a little uh, intensive package on my farm and that was where we were able to discover that the snails have hibernated even after we've done a lot of mulching before we left so one of the things i would advise is that you know that they are in the intensive system makes it good for you you can work twice a day the reason why i'm saying that is because you know that you already have enough mulching around them so when the mulch is really um is wet they are also cool to go you understand so you can wet in the morning and in the evening so it still gives you um, the proper balancing and um, in every farm even during the dry season and out of the dry season you have to maintain an optimum level of humidity if the humidity on the farm is not making sense then nothing is going to make sense you know that you've already confined the snails to the atmosphere you want them to be confined to so you have to make sure that the environment is conducive and the humidity of that environment is also okay for them to be able to grow, to be able to reproduce, to be able to feed and to be also be able to, um, to mate very well. Yeah, so you have to um, maintain an optimum level of humidity on the farm. Like I said earlier, I'm actually going to drop a clip of what I shared on Instagram about how you can take care of your snails during dry season. I'll drop a clip of what I did when the snail hibernated and how I was able to revive the snails. Okay, let me just talk about it. Now that you've seen that your snails have hibernated, what should you do? 
Okay, so the first thing you will do is that get the snails, if it is one, if they are much, get them, pour water on them. Yeah, they need just water. All they need is water and they will crawl out of the ephyphram. Some, some people remove the ephyphram and pour water on the snails. It's also fine, whichever rocks your boat. Do you understand? So just pour water on them and they come up out of the ephyphram or you just... Uh, remove the ephyphram and pour water out of them. The most important thing in dry season for snails is that you need to water them very well. If they have water, they are good to go. So guys, I hope you've been able to learn a thing or two from this video on how to take care of your snails during dry season. And guys, please drop a comment, like this video because I know you've learned one or two things from this video okay guys and if you have questions for me on videos you want me to talk about this new year i'm hoping for it guys so please you can drop it in the comment section or you can drop it for us via our uh, instagram page and we'll attend to them all right guys see you in my other video and don't forget to take care of your snails so you do not run at a loss Bye, guys.